Hey Taurus, this is your weekly reading for August 18th through the 25th. So you guys got some of the prettiest oracle cards today. Got inner peace. Look at the colors. Delight. And transformation. Transformation actually just came up as well in the Capricorn reading. Boy, okay, so the underlying energy for this whole reading is the sun. So I feel like you're in a pretty good place right now, Taurus. You've got delight here, and I feel like it's well complemented with the sun. So there's this great, sweet, playful energy. And you're actually also showing up as um, your energy being the Knight of Wands. So I feel like that's really, very playful, very, very flirty. I do see that there's some healing that's been at play for a while that you've been working on. Um, you've been in kind of a self-care, keeping to yourself mode with the Queen of Pentacles taking care of your home life, maybe like staying at home, redecorating, um, doing a spa day at home, things like that. Just like really trying to take care of yourself, take time for yourself, nurture you. Um, I do feel like you have um, some healing that goes along Sorry, I was looking at the Queen of Pentacles and I was like, I think I feel like these two cards are together. Your Two of Swords and your Queen of Pentacles. Like, Two of Pentacles here feels like to me like a protection rather than like not, you know, being open to things. It feels like a genuine protection um, while you're healing. Yeah, so you're coming out of Two of Pentacles as well. So just kind of, I feel like treading water, like you were for a while, just trying to keep your head above water, you know? And now, because you've done some time, taken some time to heal, um, you're w stepping into um, inner peace and starting to delight, delight more in your, um, in the good things that are in your life. Um, so yeah, you've got in your near future, the star, um, so kind of coming through a rough patch, like I was saying, healing up, um, some old wounds that you've carried with you for a long time, I feel like, um, but the universe wants you to know queen of swords. So helping you to move into a place where you're sitting in your power um, and feeling more confident and just like take no shit. I feel like that's you right now. So, or that's what you're moving into. Um, so I feel like because of all this healing work you've done, um, you are going to actually be attracting new love into your life, Ace of Cups here. And this is also in the position of the timing card for this spread. So I feel like in the next month or so, you're going to be, in the next month, you're going to be meeting someone really important um, as far as partnership goes. Um, so in your near, near future, you've got three of swords, but I feel like this is part of the star here and healing a heartbreak. So I don't think you're headed for a heartbreak. I feel like you're actually healing up from that. Um, I do see that you're still fear fearful. You have five of cups here. So I feel like you're fe fearful of being, I don't know what my deal is with the word fearful today. Can't say it. <laughs> I feel like you're a little bit scared of being left out in the cold again, being left behind. Um, some of what you're healing from is uh, feel of a feeling of abandon. Okay, I'm sorry, my brain. <laughs> uh, I feel like you're 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 healing from 
fear of abandonment. So, you know, keep up the work that you've been doing. I feel like this is going to clear up for you at some point. You have to just keep healing yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, um, and just moving forward. So you're, you're showing up as the outcome is the hierophant. So I feel like that is about to happen. You're, you're going to be, you're, you will have done all of the necessary healing work and you're going to be moving into this new beginning for yourself. Transformation. So totally new beginning for yourself. And part of this healing process could be expanding your spiritual practice. Um, yeah, I just feel like once you get through some things, you're, you're going to be moving into a totally new beginning for yourself. You're going to be bringing in new love pretty quick. Um, and really that the new love could be part of helping you with that healing process. Okay, so, how appropriate. So, uh, I pulled two love oracle cards for you guys today. Um, so, forgiving and learning. So, like I was saying, do, doing some forgiveness. Um, as you release and, release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, and that make, brings me back to delight. Delighting in the present. Sorry, my thing flashed up low battery. Okay, and then your last one is engagement. So whoever this is coming in, it's big. Okay, that's awesome news. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So where you may have been a little flightier, <laughs> Knight of Wands energy, you're actually moving into a more committed headspace. Okay, so I think that's great news for you, Taurus. Um, good job on the healing work. Keep it up. Have a great week, and I will see you guys next week.